My name is Mr. Musser. I'm here at the beautiful Oregon Caves National Monument and Preserve to teach you about some science. Igneous rocks, always igneous rocks? Are metamorphic rocks always metamorphic rocks? Or can these rocks change from one type to another? That's what we're going to explore today in the video about the rock cycle. So rocks continuously change from one type to another. This process is called the rock cycle. We're going to recreate the rock cycle using Play-Doh. I'm going to start by creating a sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock forms beginning with weathering and erosion. So we have different colors of play that we're going to weather and erode, and we're going to layer one color on top of each other. We're going to be all deposited one on top of each other. So let's do that first. This is when we fast forward here. And when you fast forward the film, like before, it wasn't the clip we did earlier. This turns into like a high speed voice, which is funny. Yeah. Alright, that's it. Sure. I mean, if it's on a YouTube page, we just have them upload them one after the other. It's like a little series. That's the thing. Keep all the geology videos close together. Here, Kate. That's fine. Let me turn that phone to clip we need to listen to. Alright, that's fine. So now we have had rocks that weathered and eroded and were deposited one on top of the other. So the last step to create a sedimentary rock is to apply a lot of pressure. So I'm just going to push down this rock very hard so all of our layers are going to stick together. And then if I pick it up, you should see our sedimentary rock with our layers all stuck together. So now we're going to move on to our next rock, which will be metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock forms from immense pressure and heat from deep inside the earth. So I'm going to simulate that by using our rock here and pressing it and using my body heat to mold it and bend it into our new rock type. So here, after all the bending and heat and pressure, we've created our metamorphic rock, which you can see looks a little bit different. We can have some uh, foliations, and we're going to move on to our last rock type. So the rock that is left is igneous. So igneous rocks are formed from intense heat, which will melt the old rock, and then the rock will cool to create our new igneous rock. So to simulate that, I'm just going to roll it up and blend it all together. Okay, so here, here it goes. <laughs> we'll roll it. I think you can stop there. So after the heating, melting, and cooling, we've created a brand new igneous rock. So now we've completed the rock cycle. Now, it doesn't stop here. It'll keep going and going. So this won't stay the same, but could change into sedimentary metamorphic or into brand new igneous rock. So what we have here is a diagram of everything that we went over today about the rock cycle. So if we look at igneous, igneous is formed by the writing in red which would be melting and cooling and you can see it can come from sedimentary rocks or metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are formed from the writing in purple, heat and pressure deep within the earth and then once again it can come from igneous or sedimentary. And then sedimentary rocks are formed from weathering, erosion, and pressure. And it can come from any rock type. And this can also mean it can reform from itself, which means metamorphic rock can undergo heat and pressure once again and change to a new metamorphic rock. So it's not one set cycle, but it's just a constant moving from one type to another. So in today's video, we've been talking about the rock cycle. With me, I have Ranger Neil. Now, he's an expert in geology. So Ranger Neil, what can you tell us about the marble at Oregon Caves and how it connects to the rock cycle? Oh, the uh, rock cycle is uh, when a lot of earth materials are involved in a lot of energy transfer. Mm -hmm. And the rock cycle is not quite as simple as the water cycle, where water evaporates 
is driven by the sun, right. the uh, rock cycle has another source of energy, heat, deep in the earth. Okay. And so it's not quite a simple loop. The uh, calcium is mostly the geologic material involved with the rock cycle here at the cave. Okay. And the uh, rock cycle, of course, really has no beginning or no end, but we can start it in the ocean. When the uh, sea creatures die, they use uh, calcium to build their homes, and their shells fall to the seafloor creating new rock, limestone, okay. and uh, small cyanobacteria created our, our uh, calcium rock here. And uh, usually the uh, rock cycle continues as heat deep in the earth will lift those rocks up out of the sea to form mountains. Okay. And then the other source of energy, the sun, starts working on the rocks again with uh, rainwater, and that water can actually dissolve that rock. That's what is special about the calcium rocks in most caves, and that is the case here at, uh, at Oregon Caves. The uh, calcium will dissolve in water, not quite as easily as sugar or salt, mm -hmm. but uh, with the help of natural acids, the water does dissolve slowly, in the, dissolves the rock away, and it gets a free ride back down to the Pacific Ocean in the Illinois River system into the road, and then once in the Pacific Ocean, it can make its way to someplace warm where the water evaporates and that same calcium can fall back to the bottom and make another layer of rock. So it's a continuous cycle, it's never changing. So even the marble right now is going under force of nature, right? Right, yes. All right. right now in the stream back here, calcium that's been in this rock for 250 million years okay. has uh, joined the rock cycle again and is on its way back to the ocean to be recycled, make another layer of rock somewhere and Millions of years in the future, that can be lifted up out of the sea and dissolved again in another cave system. And that's the rock cycle. Ongoing. All Ongoing. right. Ongoing. So I think Ranger Neal helped us connect everything together with the rock cycle, Oregon caves, all of it. And I think that's a good place for us to stop today. Thank you to Ranger Neal. And we'll see you next time.